To ensure correct use, always read and understand the instructions for use of the powered air purifying system and the utilized components prior to use. The limitations of use and all warnings must be strictly observed. For further questions, please contact your safety officer or your authorized Draeger organization. In the following, we will show you how to handle the Draeger Explore 8000 powered air purifying respirator correctly. The system consists of the following components. Draeger Explore 8000 unit, battery, particle, gas or combination filter, various carrying systems such as the Explore 8000 standard belt, standard or flexible hose with desired connection, face piece, for example hood, helmet, visor or mask. Below we show you how to prepare the Draeger Explore 8000 unit for use and how to replace a filter, attach the various face pieces and what you need to consider after use. Outside the hazard area, select the components of the powered air purifying respirator according to your required protection level and your application scope. After making your selections, perform a visual inspection and functional test. To check the charging status of the rechargeable battery, remove it from the device or the charger by pressing down the blue locking button. Now press the button on the battery to show the charging status. To reinsert the battery, hold the battery with the blue locking button pointing upwards and the contacts pointing to the device. Now insert the battery into the battery compartment and press until the battery audibly clicks into place. To insert a filter, first remove the splash guard from the unit by pressing the blue filter locking button. Remove the filter from its packaging and check the rubber seal for damage. When inserting a particle filter, place it into the splash guard lid and insert both at an angle into the unit. Fold the splash guard lid with the filter towards the device until the lid audibly clicks into place. If you use a gas or combination filter, insert the filter at an angle into the unit. The color marking on the inside of the gas or combination filter points downwards towards the device. Slip the splash guard lid over it. When correctly positioned, the lid snaps into place with an audible click. Take the harness and button the comfort pad onto the strap if needed. The markings help you to connect the carrying system to the unit. The marks can be found on the connecting plate of the carrying system and at the receiving location of the unit. Position the connecting plate with the top edge at an angle onto the fan unit. The markings must each match. Now push in the connecting plate until it audibly clicks into place on the device. If necessary, Draeger offers a belt extension. 
The extension can be easily attached to your belt and makes it longer. To connect the breathing hose, take the hose and plug one of the two hose connectors onto the coupling of the device. Slightly turning the hose connector until it audibly clicks into place helps to establish the connection. If you have selected the breathing hose for a hood, connect the hose connector the same way with the headpiece. In case of a breathing hose for a helmet or a visor, connect the hose connector with the coupling. If you have selected the breathing hose for a mask, screw the standard thread connector onto the corresponding mask. At the end, make sure that all connections between the breathing hose and unit and the headpiece are fastened securely or snapped properly into place. To wear the device, adjust the carrying system to the approximately required circumference. Then put on the carrying system and close the buckle. The device is located on the back of the user. Tighten the strap. If necessary, it is possible to use strap clips to fix protruding ends. To switch on the unit, turn it towards the front if necessary. Press the green button on the control panel. After switching on, the device performs a self-test. The indicator lights on the control panel light up green if the device operates properly. If the device does not operate properly or warnings are triggered, there is a fault. This fault must be eliminated before using the device. For further information, please see the instructions for use. The unit automatically detects which headpiece is connected and sets the lowest possible volume flow for this headpiece. You can adjust the volume flow yourself as well with the plus minus keys on the control panel. There are three flow levels. Before first use, remove the protective film from the visor. Perform a visual inspection and function test before each use as well. Now adjust the support ring to your size using the quick adjustment system. Press with your thumb and forefinger into the notches to help with the adjustment. The numbers to adjust the head circumference correspond to the head circumference in centimeters. Five levels are available for adjusting the head height, with level one being the smallest and level five being the largest setting. Caution. Do not put on the hood until the unit is switched on and the air supply is thus ensured. Now put the hood on using the fitting loops. The support ring of the hood rests on the forehead and runs around the head. The face seal runs under the chin, above the ears and along the back of the head. 
make sure that the support ring is located completely within the ceiling area. Check the fit of the hood. The hood must fit closely with a good seal, securely and comfortably. To increase comfort, you can make subsequent adjustments with the quick adjustment system. The system is now ready for use. If necessary, you can then adjust the volume flow rate of the unit. With the long hood, you can tuck the bottom layer of the bib into the protective clothing if desired. The adjustment of the support ring and the donning of the long hood are identical to the procedure of the short hood. Take off the hood by using the respective loops. Caution! Do not switch off the unit until you have taken off the hood. Before first use, remove the protective film from the visor. Perform a visual inspection and function test before each use as well. Now adjust the support ring. The support ring features a scale that indicates the head circumference in centimeters. To adjust, move the ends together until the support ring is set to your head size. The support ring should rest on the head above the ears. For this purpose, the four support ring flaps are equipped with three slots each. Attach the support ring to the buttons of the head harness so that the correct position of the support ring is given. Caution! Do not put on the helmet until the unit is switched on and the air supply is thus ensured. Fold the visor up and put the helmet on. Use the loops on the face seal to pull the visor down so that the face seal firmly encloses the face. Make sure that the visor is closed completely. Use the Velcro straps to adjust the face seal. The system is now ready for use. If necessary, you can then adjust the volume flow rate of the unit. Take the helmet off by using the loops. Caution! Do not switch off the unit until you have taken off the helmet. For use of the Explore 8000 with a half mask or a full face mask, you can find further information in the separate videos for Draeger Explore 4700 and Draeger Explore 6000. Turn off the unit by pressing the green button for two seconds. Disassemble the device in reverse order. To do this, press the respective blue release buttons. Then the components must be cleaned as indicated in the instructions for use. 
the filter must be disposed of properly after use. Insert the battery into the charger and plug in the power adapter. Charging takes up to four hours. Now you have learned how to handle the Explore 8000 powered air purifying system correctly, you can start your mission.